All right, so there was three bomb blasts, and it was just reported, came out in the news an hour ago. All of them in the north. One of them was at an army barracks where the suicide bomber was killed on his way in. One was at a bridge in Kaduna, and one was at an Air Force base. Okay, so, and the suicide bomber was just an army uniform. They like doing that. They do that in Iraq, Afghanistan. They do that everywhere. They try to fit in, and it's really important that, you know, the army has to be even more anal as a result about, you know, who is allowed in the base and who is who and verifying people's identities as well as um, increasing security measures around the base. Now, if you look at every, uh, you know, at this picture, for instance, there's a lot of shattered glass, a lot of cops everywhere, okay? Where I think they're going with this, it's quite straightforward. I think this is the Boko Haram sect targeting any place that doesn't have members of its sect as part of the staff. Okay? So remember, when the Good Luck President was, when Good Luck Jonathan was elected president, 800 people died in riots in the north. Okay, it was chaos. So, where's the problem? The north. Are, is the north complaining about their oil being stolen? No. The north is the one who's stealing the oil. What they're complaining about is whether or not they can control the land so they can take over the oil so they can, you know, have more direct access. Because they're not happy with the, with the oil scam and working with um, foreign interests as it is. They want direct access to the oil. And so this is, you know, if you ask me why the Buccaneers and the Ecoy are fighting, or you ask me why, uh, you know, the Ija and the Este Kiri are fighting, you know, you ask me why the Ebos and the House of Fulanis were fighting, it is all the same idea. It's the resources... It's religious fanatics who are the elites, usually the elite fighters, the elite fighting force, the elite um, suicide bombers and saboteurs are made up of religious fanatics. Whether you're talking about the assassins, whether you're talking about different groups in Vietnam who targeted um, American supply lines and targeted... Um, American troops by sending children in with um, grenades attached to them. It was always the fanatics who did the most direct surgical strikes and caused much of the damage. So, this is no different. It's a mix of a bunch of greedy people teaming up with a bunch of fanatics and their vested interest is the destruction of the black Igbo Christians because the fake Jews want to kill all the Jews who are not the same kind of Jew as them. Remember, there were Pharisees, there were Sanhedrin, there was Jews who were more with the temple, there was rabbinic, rabbinic Judaism, and there was um, there was different sects, you know, the Dead Sea Scrolls, the different sects of Judah, Jewish, and there was even Bedouins who worked with them, and there was different tribes. Remember, there's Asher, Gad, Dan, Zebulun, Okay, Simeon, Reuben, there are different tribes, the tribe of Joseph, the tribe of Naphtali, the tribe of Judah, and they do not necessarily all get along. So, don't underestimate the power of the white man cleaning house. They do it in prison. You know, if you look at the Nazis in prison, the Aryan Brotherhood, the, the Peckerwood prison gang, the Nazi lowriders, who do they target for hits the most? their own race because they're trying to get everyone to go along with their agenda and kill the subordinates kill the subversives okay the subordinated minority doesn't have to be an ethnic minority it can be a ideological minority it can be the few people who live by principle instead of live by lust and greed they're called idealists and the idealists are the ones who pose the greatest threat to the fanatics and to the New World Order. At the same time, the fanatical idealists are many of the higher-ranking people on their side. 
So what is going on in, in Kano, in Mataguri? What has been going on all this time in Borno State? where a lot of the corruption takes place, where scholars have been saying, scholars who live in the North say, this is where the corruption takes place. What's been going on in Kaduna? And when the Sarduna of Sokoto, the spiritual leader of Sokoto, he, he creates what? Why was the name Kabaru Sokoto? You know, he was named after the region Sokoto because the emir, the spiritual leader of Sokoto, is tied into the Indo-Islamic fundamentalist thought. There's a lot more high-ranking Muslims who are taking their side than you think and to call them out would cause a great amount of turmoil I think that's part of why good luck Jonathan doesn't call them out thank you